Unit 7, Recording 19, Management and Financial Accounting, Section 1. Companies have to pay special attention to finance and make use of standard tools to avoid getting in trouble and be successful. As we know, companies adopt a number of methods which help them control and manage finances. Among those, there are two major techniques. Management or Managerial Accounting or MA and Financial Accounting or FA which companies use to help them measure and plan their activities. The first point to note is that there is a major difference between managing accounting and financial accounting, and to understand it, let's first focus on MA. To start with, management accounting deals with the process of a company's forward planning, with how an organisation is going to perform rather than with its activities in the past. So, the senior team management base their decision on how their financial accountants interpret the data from the financial accounts and on their providing a management information system which focuses on decisions on profits. In most companies, the MIS uses annual budgets, which include monthly reports to make it clear whether an organisation needs to borrow money, for example, to invest in new machinery or not. The management accountants also help monitor cash flows and the value of investments and predict a company's profits or losses in the future. So, to recap, management accounting serves as an internal management tool to help monitor the performance of departments or separate units of the organisation, making a focus on controlling and predicting financial issues, which cover a vast number of different areas. The following two aspects, a company's borrowing or how much it needs to borrow and its profitability, that is how likely it is to make a profit in the future, can exemplify the case. Besides those, management accounting techniques can be used to identify bottlenecks in the operation and to find ways to increase profits. The information management accountants find helps to find business decisions in nearly every aspect of a company, for example, staff performance. The second major point is related to the non-binding status of management accounting, as there is no statutory or legal requirement for a company to keep management accounting, unlike financial accounting, where there are some legal requirements which a company has to adhere to. So, with regard to management accounting, a business can decide whether they need management accounting techniques or not. Thirdly, as an internal management tool is considered to be quite a useful practice, it allows to look at various different units of the company when necessary, and, moreover, it provides the internal data for the manager to use and that is what makes this tool effective to make decisions based on the data and conclusions inside a company.